I do not like yard sales. I mean, you never know where those items have been or what they've been used for. But this is the location where the possession starts off. A little girl picks up a curio box that just happens to have a demonic force living inside of it. So it's up to her broken family, not only to save themselves, but to save her when she clearly should have known better. This one wastes no time showing us what evil supernatural force this box is, and it's pretty damn nasty. Then it goes ahead and shows us the family dynamic before our big bad guy gets involved. This is a broken family. They're already stressed, so now we're throwing a demon into the mix. And as the little girl's being taken over, the creature, the entity, is using overt and covert things to drive a bigger wedge in between this family so it can tighten its grip on this girl. And the father steps up to be the hero. He's the one trying to find out exactly what's happening, no longer you know, taking a rational answer. And I really thought that was an excellent take on a pretty interesting horror film. Two things, really just two things, made me enjoy this film more than I thought I was going to when I clicked play. One was just the horror element. They used practical effects and some CGI effects, but they used them well to give me some scares. I jumped. I kind of, ooh, and there was a couple of times I was like, oh, God, because things that were coming out of the throat. Watch the film, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it was also the personality in the family. I cared about this family because at the beginning they were funny. We saw the connections that they were making, the nice acting that we were getting from each of these people, especially the little girl who goes from real smart and cutesy to really demonic toward the end of the film. Those things together made this one better than I really gave it credit for when I heard about it. With a title like The Possession, you know what's gonna happen. Little girl gonna get possessed, right? But in this one, you get so much more. That possessing entity is original. I've never seen this kind of backstory for the monster, and I've liked it. And when it comes to the little girl, you care about her. You care about her family. And if you care about yourself, remember this. One man's trash is not necessarily another man's treasure. There's a reason people throw things away. Sometimes there's a big-ass reason.